Okay, the information they give us is cosine of theta is 5 thirteenth, and then they tell us 3 pi over 2 is less than theta, which is also less than 2 pi. Okay, um, and then they say find the sine of 2 theta, find the cosine of 2 theta, and find tangent of 2 theta. Well, tangent we can find once we find sine over cosine. So once we find the first two here, we just need to divide them to find tangent. So how would I find sine? Well, sine, the formula for sine, looking on our sheet, uh, of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. Well, they just gave us cosine of theta. That's 5 thirteenths. So I'm going to substitute that right in. Okay? Um, but we also need sine of theta. To, to find sine of theta, we have to make a triangle. Okay? And this triangle is going to be in the third quadrant. Why is it in the third quadrant? Because we know that 270, which is this line going straight down, is less than our angle, which is also less than 2 pi, which is going, which is 360, which is going straight across. So automatically that means our angle, our triangle, has to be down here. And it's going to have an a, a, a x value of 5 and a hypotenuse of 13, because remember cosine is x over r. So using Pythagorean's theorem, I can solve for this side, which would be negative 12, because 13 squared, 169, minus 5 squared, 25, is 144. Square root of 144 is 12. So now we can find our sine value. Sine is y over r, so sine of theta is going to be y over r, y is negative 12, r is 13. So we can substitute that in, negative uh, 12 thirteenths times 2. So um, we're just multiplying fractions here. So if I multiply the top, top I get negative 120. And multiplying the bottom, I get 169. Because 13 times 13 is 169. Uh, 12 times 5 is 60 times 2 is 120, and then we bring that negative sign. So this is your sine value. Cosine of 2 theta. We have three different formulas we could choose. Okay, uh, it does not matter which one you choose. I'm going to go ahead and just pick 2 uh, cosine squared theta minus 1. Okay, well we already know cosine, so 2 Cosine is given to us 5 thirteenths squared minus 1. Okay, well, 5 thirteenths squared would be 2 over 1 times 25 over 169 minus 1, but we're going to need a common denominator, so I'm going to make it 169 over 169. So now I have 2 times 25, which is 50, minus 169, so 50 minus 169 is negative 119 over 169. So there's your cosine value. Okay, like I said earlier, to find the tangent, I'm just going to take the sine value, which was negative 120 over 169, divided by the cosine, which is negative 119 over 169. Okay, so I have two fractions that I'm dividing. I have one to negative 120 over 169 divided by negative 119 over 169. It's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So negative 120 over 169 times 169 over negative 119. When I multiply these, this 169's will cancel, the negative signs will cancel, I'm left with 120 over 119.